turn around and pick up the pieces by Hitman 61 Live, read by Deathlight. Twilight, why'd you have to do it? Rainbow sat on the library couch, her hind legs propped up on the coffee table. On her lap sat the photo album with the title, Wife and Daughter. Rainbow looked to the other side of the room and then opened the book. Inside there were hundreds of photos taken of Rainbow, Twilight, and Scootaloo. The first dozen photos were on the wedding day. Twilight and Dash exchanging vows with the friends, the after party, returning to the hotel, and one long night. A further along with photos in a part that was called adoption. In the years that followed, Twilight and Rainbow had shared so much. Love, hate, pain, happiness, and trust. But there was one thing that they could never add to their happiness. And that was with being mares. They couldn't have fillies or colts with each other. That changed when Scootaloo's truth was found out. She had no parents, no life with mother or father. She hid the pain, but Twilight seemed through it and comforted her. On the midst of the action, she and Rainbow both agreed on an idea that required Scootaloo's answer. The end was happy, and a single, yes, was all it took. Mom, why are you going through that album? Scootaloo stood by Rainbow and rubbed her eyes. Oh, here, sit by me and I can tell you another story. You already told me them all. The filly looked into her mentor's eyes, her mother's eyes. Tears filled the scion mare's eyes. Yeah, but that's not why Twilight left. You said she was up for a walk and was captured and... The filly could only break down into tears. I... I lied. Rainbow took her eyes from the filly. This was the worst thing she had ever done. What? Why? Why and where is she? I don't want you to try to find her, but she is in the go, along with Rarity. Poor Fluttershy. So, so she isn't d dead? In the end, I knew this day would never come, but never. She was cut off by a knock on the door. Rainbow Buck gagged. The thought of the knock at this late time could only mean one thing. Oh god, please don't tell me we lost. With a slam, the door flew open. The only thing that Rainbow and Skittaloo could see was the outline of the unicorn from the light. Something is wrong with her though. The front right leg looks skinnier. Why? Is that you? A tear could be seen on the unicorn's face. She collapsed. Rainbow jumped to her mare friend, her wife, and helped her up. Twilight, what happened? It was horrible. I had to attack the griffin and k kill Her words trailed off as she began to cry. Rainbow held the mare, brushing her hoof through her mane. Shh. It's alright, Twy. I'm sure you didn't mean for it to go that way. Rainbow looked closer at the right leg. It was all there, but the knee was bent back, which rested in a crutch. What happened to your leg? I fell from a magic helicopter and split my hoof. I will be able to walk again, but it will be with a slight limp. Oh Twilight, please don't ever let him take you again! Skittaloo, I was never forced to do anything. Twilight looked to the floor. I volunteered. A loud smack sounded from the room. Twilight's lowered head was not to the right. Now with a glowing red mark on her left cheek. Twilight, you lied to me! You told me you were forced to go, and now you tell me this? I can't trust you if you're going to lie! Rainbow turned away and headed upstairs, giving a Good night, Skittaloo. And a door slammed shut. Skittaloo could see how much this hurt Twilight, and never left her back. If it's alright, can I sleep on your back tonight? Through her choppy voice, Twilight spoke. Of course, and you know I missed you a lot. She turned her head and was met by a smile. She returned the smell and headed upstairs. Figuring that her chances of sleeping on the bed were very low, Twilight placed a large pillow on the floor and lay down on top of it. Tears can stay in the world of pain, but happiness is the answer to fixing. Morning came fast, and things felt as if they would get better. Twilight must have been horribly misinformed. She woke up to a light feeling and realized Scootaloo was gone. She jumped up. It was way too early to be going anywhere, especially for a filly. That wasn't the only thing she realized that was different. She raised her hoof and found her wedding bracelet, gone. It happened, she was gone. Her family was gone. Everything she knew was gone. There was no time to waste, it was time to find her wife and fix this all. Twilight grabbed a map from her desk and made a plan. First I should check the east and work west. I'll leave no stone unturned. Three, Three hours, hours later. later. I can't believe it, I looked everywhere and there was no sign of Rainbow or Scootaloo. None of my friends knew where they went, or at least didn't tell me. She looked to her hoof, the bad one, and dropped the crutch. The pain was there, but it was worth every moan, every limp, every tear. I'll find you, and I'll fix this, and I'll save our love. Twilight stopped when she heard some sniffing. She followed subtly where the sun was coming from. 
To her amazement, it was Skidaloo, hidden inside a tunnel. Skidaloo? Mom? Where's Rainbow? Right here. Was it the training for war, or was it the pain inside? Polly didn't know, but something forced her to do what she did next. She took her good hoof and forced it into Rainbow's chest. Jess responded by letting out a grin of pain. That was what Twilight was waiting for. The sun mare landed on her back as Twilight hopped on top of her. The look in Rainbow's eyes was all it took. She was scared and hurt. Rainbow, why'd you leave? Why'd you leave me? Her words trailed off as she collapsed on top of the Pegasus, tears running over Rainbow's chest. Twilight didn't receive an answer right away, just what sounded like Rainbow was crying underneath her. She pressed her muzzle under the other mare's chest as to hide her own crying. <sighs> Finally, she spoke between sobs. I was so scared, Twilight. I was scared and hurt. You left me to go and change your life. What would I have done if you never returned? She looked to the lavender mare and pulled Twilight closer. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. I never wanted to hurt any pony. If you never made it home, I wouldn't have been able to take it. Twilight, I'm not. I'm not strong enough. 